yeah, I think he was fortunate there. You know, he just managed to, to get a, a little chop on the ball and, and buy the free kick, but I've seen them not given. Oh, Chadwick's ball in. And there's the first real moment of the match as Akinyemi arrived. Seems OK now, but just didn't get the contact on it. Well, that's very much a feature of Hinchelwood's teams. You know, get the balls out wide, get crosses in the box. It's a great ball from... from what can Coca provide here? And he comes. Oh, great ball in! And they're headed to match. The first goal of this new season. And it belongs to Gus Scott Morris. The South End United new era off and running. Well, it's a magnificent ball in. We said they've got some big boys, but it's, it's, it's one of the smaller ones that ends up getting on the end of it. And all he does, he, he just bullies his man. You know, it's a great delivery in. He just leans on his man and then just guides it in. But I think that the pace and the quality on the, on the cross, all he had to do is make sure that he hit the target and he did that perfectly. And it was down to him why they ended up getting the free kick anyway. So, you know, he got his rewards for it. Sinclair now, he, he, he's a different type of player. He'll ask different types of questions and it just keeps those defenders guessing. Cartwell gets up well. Still not cleared away yet, oh, and just wide. And not by much from Jack Bridge. And he seemed to have so much time to take it down, pick his spot. And unfortunate for him, wrong side of the post. I think he'll be disappointed with that. You know, as the ball drops to him, it just opens up and it's just there to just be hit. You just have to make sure you hit the target. You know, I think if he hits the target, the key... Here is Aguiar, another one of those players that Hisha would know so well. But Worthing, Felix, another getting forward quickly here. His Pierce, plenty of white shirts in there. Pierce, oh, an awkward one, which was dealt with well. The Lion can trust, finds Pierce out on the left hand side, and it's a good ball from Pierce. Lovely touch. If, if he doesn't make that touch, That's a lovely turn from Hunt. Sinclair. What's he going to do? Sinclair, brilliant ball in. Oh, John Lewis couldn't get there. But that was so inviting, just asking to be put in. Oh, well, it's delicious. That's ex the exact ball that you want as a striker. When your wide man just cuts in on his right foot and just bending that into that far post, you have to be on that far post gambling. You have to be expecting that ball to come and put it in the back of the net. Batty. Back for Howe. Sinclair. Nathaniel George. Hunt. Can they find a way in? Can they find a way through? Nathaniel George, take them all on here, perhaps. Comes loose, oh, and the save! Big moment in the match. They can't believe they've not scored York. Well, it's brilliant play from Nathaniel George. Lovely bit of trickery, gets his cross in, and the shot is just too central. Either side of the goalkeeper, that's in the back of the net, but it's too central. Cameron John, big, big chance. Here comes the corner. Oh, and it's in this time! From the big man, John Lewis. It's been coming for York. Finally, they get their reward. And a man who scored late to win it for them here last season comes up late to Drury side level. Well, he's a real leader in that dressing room. You know, captain the side last year, only managed to make 17 starts last season, but still managed to get seven goals and was a real focal point for, for this York team.
with them bringing in new strikers, his, his moments on the pitch are going to be few and far between, but when he is on that pitch... These are really promising signs for, for the York fans. Coming up against a really good South End team. And, and his second half performance has been outstanding. Sinclair. Going one way and then the other, hanging it up again. And the header coming from John Lewis. But those changes, the substitutions that Hitchwood has made, really are causing Southend all sorts of problems. Well, Sinclair on one side, whether he's on the left True or the challenges. right. True challenges. You take that if you're Adam Hitchwood? Absolutely. I think if you if you walk away from, from Roots Hall this season with anything, then you, you, you take it because they're a very strong outfit at home. And a point that they will take home. So York coming from behind to level things. And this new era for Southend United, it got off to a great start having taken the lead through good Scott Morris. But more and more as the game went on, so did York come back into it. And full credit to Hinshelwood, he made the changes, he brought on players who he knew were difference makers. And in the end, Leonard John Lewis coming up with the moment in front of those travelling fans. So a point on the opening day away from home for a team who finished just a point above the relegation zone last season. And parity between these two then. It finishes Southend United 1, York City 1.